This grass is the coldies. <laughs> foggy skate park this morning. <laughs> I just dropped my son off at school and uh, it's right by this skate park over here in Canton. So I thought I'd just come over here and take a little walk around. I was actually going to skate around in my bare feet, but things haven't been going right lately. So I know if I tried that, I'd be on the ground. So I'm not even going to try it. I just want to walk around here and check everything out just for the fun of it. Look at this. Everything's wet. From the morning dew. Do the dew, dude. So things over here are a little bit bigger than the park I was at yesterday in New Philly. If you saw the skater diet from yesterday. So this back here I'm fairly confident with as I stand here and look at it. Um, then over here you got the hump. And this thing's about three or four times the size of the one in New Philly. I think I can handle it, but I'm just not sure. So maybe I'll work on that and we'll do skater diet next week from here, but I don't know, we'll have to see. This, the ramps on this one are just pretty big, so. All right, anyway, I'm out of here. Let's go get something done today. Oh, by the way, I talked to uh, Lance again last night Hopefully the Bigfoot will be in their possession this weekend and they will be filming this weekend. So uh, next week we will be seeing the Bigfoot skate on Braille. This is gonna be awesome. I'm so excited and a lot of other people are too. It's like a bionic spider or something. I've never seen anything like that. Oh, by the way, in case you guys haven't noticed that the car is not whining anymore when I turn, I used this magical substance called power steering fluid. <laughs> Okay, the service center of this uh, Kmart here has been shut down for a long time, but I noticed this morning the store closing sign on the Super Kmart back there. Oh, it's a big Kmart, sorry. <laughs> so this is a future abandoned area that I'll be visiting on film, but I'm kind of curious. I want to go in there this morning, look around, just see what it looks like in there. Okay, so they don't open till nine. It's just eight o'clock right now, so I'll have to come back and check it out. I don't know if it'll be today or not, but like I said, that Dying and dead retail is just so interesting to me. I don't know why. Uh-oh, I think I'm on a one-way street. All right, I feel 100% better. My dad <laughs> got a hot shower shaved fresh hoodie first order of business today is I have to drop off a package at somebody's house a couple shirts and a hoodie then I have to drive out to Green, which is like, uh, I guess it's a township in Akron or something like that. Because of something I sold last night, I have to run clear out there and pick up to sell it. But the good thing about that is that I've already sold it. I would much rather chase down something I've already sold than run around looking for something to buy, put the money out first, and then let it sit there and hope it sells. Okay, this is how weird I am. This used to be a McDonald's over here. 
and I never paid two bits of attention to it. Now it's closed down and abandoned, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> okay, the package I'm delivering right now is going to Justin. Hope you like it, buddy. Whoa, I don't know what happened there, but right after I filmed that, right up the road here, there was a little uh, Volkswagen bug that was all busted up. So that thing probably took a good roll. I'll have to look at the footage and see what the other car was in there, because I just kind of filmed it while I kept my eyes on the road. But, uh, dang. Okay, so I want to say that every time I post a video, there is someone who gives me a thumbs up, like right away, every time. Whoever you are, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for that. Because I always wonder, am I putting out good content? Do you guys like what you're seeing? But I don't want to modify who I am. You know, I want to be true to myself and true to you guys. So I am being exactly who I am when you watch these videos. I don't like faking anything. I'm just not that kind of person. So yes, I appreciate you. I appreciate you very much. I appreciate every single one of you who is taking the time to watch these videos. Give them a chance. And uh, if you are here for the skating videos and then you notice that I'm posting daily vlogs, don't unsubscribe, you know, just stick around because there's plenty of skating coming that's not going anywhere. It's just that I do daily vlogs as well. So with that being said, I'm very curious as to how far people watch in these vlogs. I try to keep them a decent length, like between eight and 10 minutes. I try not to go too long, but I'm curious, you know, how far you guys are watching into these videos. So if you've made it this far, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you're still watching. Probably just a dog. What in the world, man? This is the first Target I've ever been in that the customer service wasn't like right up front by the front doors. And if it was, I didn't see it. I saw like some kind of a pizza shop or something. Photos. Hmm. Well, apparently it is hidden up front. If I can ever find it, it's like a maze up in this piece. <laughs> Check it out, I just found two of the coolest things I've ever seen. Number one, Star Wars socks. And number two, Harry Potter Gryffindor socks. <laughs> I swear people think I'm absolutely crazy when I'm filming in stores. Okay, while I'm in this area, I want to show you guys the saddest abandoned building in the history of the earth. I'm getting sad even as we approach. It's right in front of me. My heart is crying. Here it is. This douche just pulled in and almost hit me. Pay no mind to the guy with the camera trying to get a shot. Some people are just ignorant, you know? I mean, I'm standing right there trying to take a picture. The guy comes flying in right into the parking spot that I am standing in. What a dick. I used to pull right through here and order my sliders and chicken rings, the big 30 pack boxes, the Crave case of sliders. Mmm, they were good. You know, it's funny because even the abandoned trash 
area is interesting to me. I don't see a lock on this building and honestly I'm so tempted. But this is such a busy area, there's probably going to be a cop here in a split second. I couldn't resist, I tried, but the door was nailed shut on the bottom. <laughs> Six bags of the chicken rings and a large red pop. Alright, thank you. And that's how it was for many, many years. But now it's all over. No more White Castle. And I'm absolutely bummed. I used to come out here any time of the day or night, man. Two o'clock in the morning, I'd be sitting there and I'd be like, you know what, I want White Castle. And I'd hit the road. Which is partially how I got so big and fat. <laughs> so, White Castle, I bid you adieu.